Or the... <laughs> this is what they taught in home. Okay, action. <laughs> so that's one and a half of flour. One and a half what? Tablespoons? Cups down. <laughs> what are you making? Tracy. You're not talking to me, you're talking to the people. <laughs> no, I don't want to be a YouTube star. Too late. <laughs> All right, there it is. We can post a link to the recipe that you're making. And then have teaspoons of baking powder. So what made you want to make this cake? Well, we have a lot of ingredients left over from the funnel cake stand. And I've been wanting to try making this for a long time. So I thought, why not? Why not give it a shot? Well, have you ever made it before? No, my mother has and it didn't turn out. So we will see how this one turns out. This recipe got pretty good reviews online. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's a three step process, right? Well, you read more about it than I did. Well, you know the three steps. First is what you're doing right now, yeah. which is what? We, you do the cake part first, so there's no milk in the cake part. Okay, then what happens? Then you pour a milk mixture on top of it and you let it sit for between six hours and three days. That's step two, and what's the end part? You make whipped topping for it out of heavy cream, sugar, and vanilla. Okay, so we're gonna get this batter mixed up and in the pan and we'll see what happens mm -hmm. so this is the final batter for the cake it tastes good i added a good amount of vanilla it has five eggs so it's real healthy <laughs> wait i'm going go around this way <laughs> oh, that's better and when you're baking you gotta have yourself a drink that's right donald <laughs> sometimes Suppose you do. Now the instruction said it will seem like a thin layer of cake, so I don't mm -hmm. know if it rises or if it just doesn't really matter. But basically you're gonna get as much batter into this pan as possible and then you will spread it around and then we will bake it. Mm -hmm. Alright folks, just so you can see that we <laughs> And it says to bake for, I think, a half an hour or until the toothpick is through. All right. Yeah. Now we get to have some batter. <laughs> so we are on the milk mixture. Here is the cake, which we'll get another look at. Is you going to start combining? Yeah. Does it's, it matter what order they go in? No. So it's one half cup heavy cream, one can evaporated milk, one can you have to open sweet and condensed milk and then it's also uh one and a quarter cups of milk not skim anything but skim and luckily we have leftover whole milk from the funnel cakes yeah so it's real healthy so these four ingredients go into this bowl and then they get whisked. And then we'll do the next step. Rot roll. So what we are told to do is poke holes. I can't really I'm poking. I'm just trying to help. Uh yeah, so we're gonna <laughs> she's poking many holes. Poking holes in your poke, poke. poking holes in your theories, poking holes in the cake. Then this mixture, once this gets whipped and combined and whisked, then double poking. Mm -hmm. That's some fancy poking there, son. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I, that helps it sink down into the cake. All right, so now we got to do some mixing. So it just says whisk together until blended. And it's, I'm sure it's blended. So here goes nothing. Beth, I can't see. 
Well, can you do it that way or do you want me to come around? Here, I want you to do whatever way is the most chance of success. Jeez Louise, that's a lot of light chase. Mm-hmm, it's trace. I think it's four actually. It's heavy I cream, four milk. it's milk, it's a sweet condensed milk, and it's evaporated milk. Mm-hmm. Well, heavy no cream dose, isn't really trace. milk. <laughs> Debatable. Now, let me see what we got. Huh. Interesting. Can you, like, level it, or? I think it just soaks in. Don't really matter. That is a weird looking beast. It's like the rum cake. It's, oh, is it? Do you pour the stuff on the rum cake like that? Yeah. So now the directions say let it sit for six hours minimum or up to three days. So I think we'll give it like, it's this time now. I mean, it'll be maybe like tomorrow afternoon, which will be this, what, 12 plus four to six is like 16 to 18 so hours. So. That's it, it for it already soaked in there. Do it be? Mm-hmm. Oh. That's the eighth wonder of the world. Alright, so now I put in two cups of cream, a quarter cup of sugar, and the recipe called for a half a teaspoon of vanilla, but I'm always very generous with vanilla because that's where the flavor's at, so I put in more. So I think basically it says pour the top in, in a large mixing bowl, use an electric hand mixer, or using this hand, okay, whip heavy cream until soft peaks pour. So we're whipping with... So it's cream and sugar and vanilla? Yes. All right. So when you—that's where the flavor is at. You basically got to make some real sweet butter with some good vanilla you know, flavorings, and then it goes on top. All right. So how did it come out? I think it's good. It is tasty. I sampled it. It's real fluffy. Mm-hmm. Here, we had a little. I think when we we're doing the fork in and out, it pulled off just a little light bit of. Yeah, the, it looks like maybe there's somewhere. It, Oh, the pieces are around. But I think the cream will cover it up. So basically, the next goal is to, we will, I mean, I don't think we have to do a lot of fil <laughs> filming here, but we're just going to spread this stuff out. Mm -hmm. And then pretty soon will be time to try it. Mm -hmm. So, first taste. Yeah, I think it's pretty dang close to what we got at the Mercado. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It looks good. Mm-hmm. And it even has the the liquid a little yeah. bit at the bottom. Mm -hmm. And it's <clears throat> really pretty tasty, don't you it's think? It's a good thing we did all that biking today. Yeah, we did. We did a roll out of biking. Mm-hmm. Well, we got some beer out of the deal, too. But yeah, here's Let's see here. I'll have a and actually, taste. I think this might be better because, as I was saying, I think typically mm. the Mexican markets put Cool Whip on top, or that's what I always taste when I get them. Mm. Maybe it's just easier, or they can get it in bulk and it saves them time. But we did the homemade whipping cream. Yeah. With <clears> the two <throat> cups of cream and sugar, etc. Yeah. I don't, I don't know if I've that. had a lot of it, but. Mm -hmm. Man. Look how it just goes. Yoink. Mm -hmm. Ooh, right through there. I could take some of my raspberry liqueur and drizzle it on top of but my you slice. You could, but it ain't necessary. Mm -hmm. I would call this a quite a success. Yeah, me too. And more fun than killing hornets. Yeah, I agree. All right, well, thank everyone for watching. Thanks for watching. And I wasn't, I don't know that I was telling you to thank them, but I guess it came off that way. All right, go make a cake.